Yes, one Bay Area woman has so much to be thankful for this Thanksgiving. You might remember Claire Bridges. She's the young St. Pete woman we first told you about earlier this year. Yeah, she suffered major complications after getting COVID and had both legs amputated. She got her prosthetic legs this summer, but still has quite a journey ahead. Eight on your side's Nico Clemens joins us in studio. Give us an update. Hey, Nico. Hey, you two. We've gotten to know Claire quite a bit this year. Every time you talk with her, she has a smile on her face. She's positive despite everything she's gone through. You'll see in a moment, she's getting used to her new legs as she's still on her journey to recovery. Yes. For Claire Bridges, every day is a day of thanks. Yes. Months have passed since she lost her legs because of COVID complications. After getting prosthetic legs, the 21 year old is getting back to doing what she loves rock climbing. Yeah. How do you feel? She's still adjusting to her prosthetics, working on getting her strength and weight back. I'm very appreciative for the support and to be able to help people just by, I don't know, existing. Bridges says at first she didn't realize her story impacted or helped so many other people, not just in the Tampa Bay area, but around the world. I still have people reaching out to me. I have, I made a friend in Spain. Um, we've been talking, he's an amputee below the knee. I feel like this has opened the eyes of the community more to disabled people, and I hope. I mean, I think that a lot of people are realizing disability doesn't happen, like it doesn't have just one look. Bridges is pushing through the toughest chapter of her life, but it's not over yet. She has heart surgery next month, which she says will allow her to have a full recovery. But despite it all, she has much she's thankful for. I am so grateful that I'm still here and able to do everything that I love. And I mean, I even started writing notes down about reminding myself if I ever forget like what I am grateful for. Like I'm grateful for rain. I'm grateful for the humidity, for people, for laughter, like just the little things that make my day better and make it worthwhile. Spoke with Claire in Tampa today. She's looking forward to getting back to the gym in January once she recovers from heart surgery. She's also trying to become completely self-sufficient and hopes to get signed for modeling. Nico Clemens, on your side.